Uh, you see their games pop up on CSGO Lounge a lot. That's playing a key dynamics. I got an old school name in there mm. like Tixo, but no problem 2-0 to them. And I guess their catchphrase when they win is just no problem. I don't know. I, don't, I think that would be a bit obvious, to be that honest. That would be a bit obvious. And P. But this match could be a problem. PYVM. To continue, to continue that pun. No re. No, GG, no re. As hopping into the pistol right now. It's like uh, we got Glace playing over in B Ooh. along with Holtz. Oh, look at this flash in the monster. Is able to actually get one. Yeah, actually kind of disappointed for Holtz there. I thought he was going to be able to get another one, but he just couldn't quite find the dink. So unfortunate for him, but a great flash to set him up. I mean, the fact that he was in, you know, column, uh, facing up against a column of four people and still got himself a kill is definitely in his favor on the pistol round but right now we are considering the two aggressive trade-offs going back and forth it's going to come down to martin though he has to do all the work and now it's quantum getting the last head bullet taken this is not the best way i've ever heard phrased of uh, getting a headshot, a headshot frag. <laughs> yeah take well take i was trying, to, I was trying to do it bullet. backwards i was like yes he's received the bullet the bullet has been presented to his skull yeah, but I mean, pretty big on Holtz as we saw that flash goes out. He maybe could have done more, but I would say he's done enough. He gets that first kill there through Monster uh, on the retake. I think another one for one happened, and then on the retake it was Glaze who grabs two frags, and I think he also got in there to get the defuse, so no problem. We'll take the pretty important, if not very important, pistol round. You're starting on that CT side of overpass. You want to make sure that you get off to a strong start. You don't want after match on the T side. Uh, to get too much uh, of a boost in rounds and keep your economy low in the CTs on a CT sided map. And well, this P90 is about the ace. Oh. Ready B though. Famas in hand. Not gonna get it. And uh, yeah, aim, aim punch. So, uh, this kids. See, I, I have friends that I play with. When they force up on the second round, they always buy just an SMG. And I'm like, please stop doing this. No I'm armor? Like, yeah, no armor. Because they, they lose the first round, so they can't, so they buy SMG, I'm like, buy a pistol and armor, it's much better in every way, and then they just buy an SMG. Or at least go, you know, the cheaper one, the MP9 or a Mac 10 with just Kevlar and forget the, the helmet, Best but... Helmet, yeah. Eh, I don't know. It sounds like your friends are still learning, so... Should maybe be nice DMZ to them. 500 hours. Mm, yes. Or just not play learning. with them at all. Um, at least you know they don't cheat. Uh, snappy. <laughs> has an op so he's picked that up pretty quickly after that ace of course the p90 is that one sub machine gun that's only going to give you the 300 dollars per frag but he did get five of them so the economy is definitely on right online right now for no problem and after match off to another rough start they're boosting over looking for information and barry were actually just take one of them out from up here on the b window yeah, spamming through as well, didn't find himself anything, but not, not really going to be very important because the flashbang yeah, has managed to get a pick for aftermatch. That being said, still three playing four, and they're getting kind of forced back. Actually, Freddy B needs to be a little bit cautious here if he's going to be moving away. Holster's maybe thinking about peeking around. Then again, P90 is probably not going to go for the SMG snipes, but you never know. Playing up close and he actually did almost take down i think that's martin running away no it's freddy b running away yeah and he actually had the better of the trade right holt is left at 48 freddy b at 43 here's blood oh. though running in brings down barry martin finds snappy and from a three on four to a three on two just like that after match now in a good position here in round three yeah they hold the site this is gonna have to be the retake coming in and no problem they know that bomb is in a very, very awkward spot for them. Everyone from Aftermatch hanging around. Close up here is Martin. Is he going to find anything? Gets a lot of damage dealt, but not enough for the actual kill. So, are they going to be able to finish this one off now? It's going to be coming down to Glass. But, uh... Oh, he got the better of that. He might have it as well. The timer? Yeah, he's, he's definitely got it. Wow. I am legitimately highly surprised. That, I mean, honestly, that the peak came out at all, but... I guess yeah, exactly. Blotta could have played the clock there a little bit more. He he had peeked out, knew that he wasn't on the bomb, heard the tap go again, peeks right back out. Uh, could have played the clock a bit more. I mean, you can at least head count to four and then peek out. And, and at that point, you know, you get the player off the bomb at that, and they run out of time, or you just kill them. You could have had it maybe panic a little bit as 
mean, that was an important round to have almost brought that mm. back from a, a 3v4 when everyone in Aftermatch was actually pretty hurt as well. Um, I mean, even getting the bomb down there was pretty nice. It gives him a bit more money to work with to buy Tech 9 armor and sitting on about $2,000 a player. Oh, well, well, here we go. Tech 9 armor indeed does actually get them onto the site with the numbers advantage now. Problem arguably starting to get the retake underway, but it's not getting anything done. They just lost two players in really damn quick succession, and now Snappy, they know he's got no, they're not going to be, okay, I don't, <laughs> they shouldn't be peeking it, and at this point, basically, Snappy's got to be thinking about the save. Yeah, it looks like he's posted up, setting for one more exit. He is quite poor. I mean, the rounds have been a little bit costly. Uh, well, I guess just the last one really was costly. Uh, getting the defuse with one person alive. He spotted Blutta, he goes for the spam through the plywood, won't find it, and he'll want to save. Aftermatch, though, I mean, having just had Tech 9, might want to try to find him and pick up an op for free. I don't know if they want to forfeit their own lives and the armor they have. Well, it's that feeling when nothing like works until you take though. 9. They, are, they definitely fanned out, ran up the stairs. Martin's actually very close right now, but I don't think he'll get there quite in time. Oh, and he does, he does get there in time. And he takes down Snappy, so no op for no problem here in round five. That's painful. He must have died in the last tenth of a second of the game, or of the round, but... Unlucky, such, I guess. Such as Counter-Strike. Such a game of margins, one I mean, he, say. he heard, right? He had a chance to hit a shot, mm. and he missed it, and then he got punished for it. And maybe a little unlucky just because of uh, the amount of time remaining. Yeah, I mean, you, can, you can't blame him for thinking he was safe. Oh well, no time for resters right now. No problem. Are going to be forcing up themselves. They do have themselves a decent set of weapons, but definitely not perfect. Definitely not started off too well on the uh, round overall. They've lost a player already. The uh, gained much ground. They are quite pushed up here with Snappy, but that's going to be a backfiring situation. I don't know, Bloat Sorin though. He did come out of smoke. Look at the trade kill, but that seemed like it could have gone uh, a little bit better if they... I mean, was Bloke just not visible? Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes the spectator smokes could be a little bit different, so uh, I suppose he missed him as he crossed. It, was, it seemed like he was trying to time the Molotov with the smoke dissipating. It didn't quite hmm. work out, but at least he moves forward. He goes uh, one for one. He, he got the other ally that was in there. They were trying to set up the crossfire and stairs, one watching the door, one watching, of course, the party where we now see Freddy B and crew moving through. They'll bring down Snappy. That opens up the avenue for the A site. A site, though, still somewhat closed. Holtz is in here behind Optimus. Barry now looks one going up the stairs, gonna try to pull out some jump scouting shenanigans. Does take down Disco. And left in a one versus three. I just saw the two in the site, but then I looked over. To my right, Quantum is still alive with the op, so Barry with pretty much zero chance. We'll just try to save because the CT is bought down to almost no money. Martin's there. Oh, it was also low, so just one shot with the scout doing some damage, and now an AK to be saved here for no problem if Barry can stay alive. Yeah, I think he should be able to at this point. They are going to be circling around though, and there's definitely something to be watching out for if he comes from water, but it looks like he'll get away with it. Barry. Let me just chill for now. Ooh, I'll... Yeah, I don't know why you'd be looking that way. That seems to be exposing you an awful lot. But it uh, doesn't matter. Gets away with it in the end. and uh, That means they've got the rifle, but they they really can't force up again right now. So it's just going to have to be that one rifle to try and generate the picks. Yeah, we'll see how they want to use it. Uh, if they're going to maybe put it to try to get an entry out of some pistols behind it. Or put some pistols in front of it and have Barry try to pick people off. And hopefully the Barry himself will not be picked. Okay, he'll just go over the boost. Gonna hope uh, someone's gonna run through this short drain to try to get into construction. Not gonna be the case though. After match playing this round, extremely slow, cautious as they fan out for their default. We got Martin and Disco Doplin working up long, holding the connector is Blutte. That's how I've been saying it, or Blut. Blutte. Blutte. I don't know. I'm putting a German. Doesn't have an old yeah, That's true. And then Freddy B and. Wants them watching for some pushes at middle and at B. And mm. looks like they've got their picks, so they've found the information and now can work off of that. Yeah, I got that funny feeling that AK might end up getting saved again at this rate, although we'll see because he's going to be holding up. Still not a not a bad deal, right? Yeah, no, might as well. It's not like you're losing money for it. Because if you're a T 
and you don't You're get to it. Bad idea. Yeah, you can end up actually being better off dying in two rounds. In spite of your KDA. It's very upsetting, but it doesn't actually give you any money having a high KDA. Uh, oh! Oh! oh. That face. I would hurt my would health. Broken his nose. Yeah. Man, have you ever been smacked in the face by a glass bottle? No. Nor hope you to. No. It's extremely painful. I had to think, but no, I don't think I have. You, you a bar man? Mm, I mean, yeah, but I'm not one going to a bar to seek out bar fights. Not trying have to. Ever, have you ever not trying to round to house a anybody. Bar fight? Have I what? Have you ever even been, been witness to a bar fight? Um, uh, no. Yeah, maybe, I. maybe like outside of the bar, but I was uh, never like. Let's be honest, I, I'm, I'm sat here casting Counter Strike. Not, it's not really a demographic that goes with bar fights very often. I don't know, man. Those pub stomps, those, uh, what do we, I don't even know what the, uh, CSGO ones are even called. It was Barcraft for StarCraft, it's pub stomps for Dota. I don't know if there's a CS one. Mm. Pub stomps is good. I like Yeah, that. you can still just call it pub stomps. As it is, after match, having had that little bit of a dicey first couple of rounds now, Definitely starting to get themselves back into gear. Three rounds and uh, starting to actually generate a little bit of advantage here. Glass lost half of his health already. I mean, they've Continue. got an advantage a little bit in this round with some damage and some nades coming up, but also with money, right? After matches in a position where they can lose and have rifles. If no problem loses, they probably lose again on eco, so. So is that why they've gone for Scooby Doo formation? What, after match? Build up and search for clues, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they did it last round against the Eco, so they were definitely being careful not to run into a pistol stack, and it worked, so I guess they're just going to do it again here. And kind of. I mean, they've only seen one rifle round, right? They kind of want to see another and try to figure out the tendencies and no problem. Nappy, having stuck round behind, has actually opened up some opportunities potentially for his team there. They did manage to get onto the site, but after match, they are now in a two-on-two -two and running out of time very, very rapidly. Quantum, he's got the bomb, but he's not going to find the opportunity to plant. He's going to peace out and try to save the orb, but will he be able to? Taking a bit of damage there. He's going to be surviving. <laughs> and well, wild. honestly, that's almost... You don't get the round on the board, but that's almost as good as winning a round in terms of the money. You see... No problem coming with this round with 3300 that is FAMAS and nades and actually it's really just FAMAS and a smoke. Barry only has nades because he went for a P250, gets a kit and full armor. So I mean that that hurts. The fact that Freddy B was able to come up the stairs and find two kills like that. And after match, as I mentioned, they had enough money to buy. Some of them had 6k and two of those guys didn't even die. And you yeah, know, account for the 600 for the double kill as well. A lot of money there in the on the after match. It's an odd one. It's almost like you think having about 3k at the start of this round, no problem, ought to have ecoed, in spite of having won the previous one. But for now, they've actually managed to get themselves a 2 for 2, which isn't so great, given that they're the CT side. But they may be about to run another one. Oh! Wow. Oh, or well, not. Nice flick shot there from Glace is going to be... Uh, I don't know, is he Glace? I don't Glace. know. I think Glace, Glace seems me. pretty reasonable. Lace or cherries. G, G Lace. The big G. Berry. Piecing right out of there. Does not want any of that. Is going to be backing himself away, and that means after match, their play is most likely going to be red here. It's not exactly being hidden. Can Glace hold them off for any length of time? That is the question there. A little bit cautious after match. Not a lot of information as to who's on the side. Wow. Gonna cost them another? As they will drop down. I mean, that round's pretty much all on Glace, right? He should have died, but instead, there's a bit of a misstep, I guess, by whatever aftermatch player that was. Glace hits a pretty nutty flick shot with that Famas, and then on 15 HP there, and Optimus uh, finds that kill, right? I, I would kind of. The way that I saw that happening was Glace with 15 HP just goes down immediately then you find yourself mm. at the two on two and at that point it could have been anybody's uh, but I think Glace big part of that one so five to three money I mean you're still not out in the clear yet if no problem lose a round they will have to take an eco or decide to force buy and after match uh, saving those two rifles having had a bit of money on their team having won those three rounds in a row killed all the CTs on the one they lost they'll have a pretty decent buy already be with the first kill 
Now, are they going to be trying to force that? Well, they've managed to get the Famous actually for Disco Doplan as well, so that's a nice little take. And another kill there on Martin. No problem. Starting to feel a little bit pressured here, I suspect. And maybe why Snappy's chosen to push out a little bit more. Like, yeah. However, ooh, is he going to get? Is he going to get it? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Martin! Oh, he's on the elbow. He didn't get it. Didn't get it. And now he's, now he's paranoid because he thinks everything's there. This is going to be the beat play. Yeah. So at least you're locking a player there. That's Martin on very low HP. The two HP. Was working long, just trying to keep the people on A. Now it's up to Holtz from Water. Picks up the headshot. Disco will take it down. Barry is going for the kill onto Quantum. Needs to do quite a bit more damage, but cannot. Taken out by Disco. HPs. Some low players, but Snappy with an op. The HP doesn't really matter too much here. And his secondary is only a USB, so it's not going to be the best. It's a very nice headshot onto Freddy B, but now it's kind of just trying to run away and is caught by Martin. That player picking up a 2k, the second kill coming with 2 HP. Close. But no cigar couldn't, as you say, la lacked the ability to uh, just run around. That's because that's, that's kind of what you need, right? When, you, when you've got to clean up three people, you need to be able to change position quickly. And you can see he was trying to there, but that's why he didn't have uh, a weapon out to deal with the scenario when he runs face first into an enemy. So... 5-4 is the scoreline at this point in time. Godo plan is scoping up. It looks like once again, after match, they're going to be playing quite a slow style here. Yeah. I mean, it, it made sense, I think, every time they've done it so far. Like, um, I don't know if they did it on the first rifle. I actually can't even remember. But they did it against the, the pistol round where they knew there was one AK up still. They didn't want to run into a stack. Then they did it on the next two rifles to figure out what they're all about. And it seems like after match... I'm pretty confident that it's working, but Barry here with the CZ will bring down Freddy B. If he decides to push forward anymore, uh, Blata is still there waiting in upper tunnels. Meanwhile, the bomb and two others are swinging long A. Ooh. And they've spotted Glaze. They've actually tagged Glaze. Yeah, tagged him, I think, through the APC, so a fat lot of good that armor does, but it seems like no problem aren't going to be getting pushed off too easily. They've got several players in position. A bit of a crossfire going there as well. Glaze. Is he going to push straight through the smoke? No, he is not. And he does eventually sidle around it. Slightly shift a little. He does get taken down by Martin. However, Snappy is going to just turn around, get himself two kills. Nearly a third there, but he couldn't quite connect the headshot. And that is going to leave us now with a two on one. After matches, push onto the site. Not having gone nearly as well as they would have hoped for. Bloat now making his move onto the site. Is he going to be able to catch the first kill? Yes. The bomb plant more or less secured. Barry is just pretty much gonna have to land the dink here. Uh oh! Oh! That is not a health you like to be. Oh, Barry. What do you do right now? Doesn't even have the info on Bloat's position now, because of course he has moved along. And any second now, he's gonna peek out. There we go. Pushing off the round. Nicely done. Yeah, pretty tough. When you're left on one HP like that, Blitz is sitting at 100, and he will pick up the op for his team who can continue to buy, and since no problem, the like they won round one, they got round two, round three was close, and then it was three rounds in a row for aftermatch, so they definitely succeeded in breaking down the economy of the CT side. Round seven, of course, was, even though it was a win for no problem, it was truly a disaster as... You know, two terrorists live, zero CTs live, the economy was broken, all these last few rounds have been pretty sketchy and it boils down to no problem giving up that two for one off of a force buy there in round 10. So 5-5, five, five. should be six for aftermatch after this. It is pretty much vanilla pistols. There's what, a 5-7 and a P250 on Snappy and Holtz? That's uh, not ideal. I mean, what, uh, uh, the range... USP is one of the only pistols where you can need three headshots, right? Because it like uh, super long range, it does forty or less, right? Yeah, I mean the Glock as well, right? If you can I mean, hit yeah, the, head the, three the super basic. Maybe the P250 yeah, would. But the damage fall off is actually pretty minimal against. I, I don't even know if there's a place in Counter Strike that's long enough for the USP not to headshot someone without head armor. Hmm. Maybe you could find someone, but I feel like it would be pretty uncommon that players would be fighting from that range. He spawned on USP's dust too. Nah, no, even that's one. 
Wow. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I, I, I can't think of anything else than that. But... Oh, I'm going to resist the infantile joke that sprung into my head and Snappy is going to die, so... That... All she wrote from that round. Fairly standard eco bash in the end. They did drop one man, though, which, honestly, for a 5-7 and P250, that's pretty, pretty solid eco. Not yeah. as much you can hope for. I guess a crossfire is bound to uh, catch somebody in their tracks if you're not really having a liberal use of flashes to clear all your corners and edges, as you might not, since a lot of times people go into uh, expected full ecos overconfident. Uh, and here's no problem with another rifle round. Decent amount of nades and utility coming out. At least they got the smokes and flashes. Only one kit though on Snappy. And no ops either from the CTs, but Glace and Barry. And Barry again with a double. And that must have been over a connector slash construction. But Kevin S fell asleep on that one. Uh, so now they face a bit of an awkward scenario here on Aftermatch. Two people left, Quantum Disco Dope Plan. That is a fine name, but is it going to be enough to help him out here? Uh, not too much luck so far. 70 HP is all oh, he's going to be left with, but does get himself the kill there onto Snappy. Now, however, oh, the close. info is had. Quantum was actually pretty close to that. Yeah, it's always those boards. It? When the bullet comes through, and you're like, oh, oh, well, why was it? parallel universe me just lost his head? Uh, now, still fairly slow play from the uh, two remaining aftermatch members. They do know that they've got the potential Ooh, ability. I thought that actually was going to pull Lomax off the site. They threw that Molotov from the blue door into B, like they were going to be setting up for B execute, and then immediately started going up to A. They almost had Lomax rotate off, but now he'll peek off from the site box. Never committed to that B rotate, but he is still taken down by Quantum. 15 seconds on the clock, they've evened it up. Now they've got the advantage. Two on one, so it's Holt. They'll have to come up from B, and I think, uh, who was that remaining CT player? In A, probably should have chilled out, not gone for a peek, allowed Holtz to come up and help him, but Holtz still doing a good job on this retake. He's brought down Disco Doplin, and 14 HP is Quantum, but he gives him the old crouch peek with the op and lands the headshot. 3k for Quantum. Wow, I have both of them in one-shot range, basically, but I'm surprised, honestly, that Holtz just sort of stopped moving once he'd managed to get himself down to the one-on-one -on -one at the end. Possibly didn't know quite how much damage he'd done. Yeah, he might not have realized that. I guess he had dinked the other player through the player of the box. No. So, or knew he had time and was like, alright, 1v1, let me just kind of reset right now and, and try to play these mind games. But maybe if he had just quickened the pace and continued, it would have been a bit better. Yeah, that's, that would be my argument. But I mean, hindsight is twenty twenty. I am... Possibly not snappy. the best person to be criticizing. Snappy. Oh, Snappy. Is he going to get any one more? Only the one kill. A fair re a fair reward for being bypassed like that. But uh, perhaps could have hoped for more in that scenario. It does look at the moment, though, like this should be a fairly standard old cleanup here for Aftermatch. Now, one man left standing is Barry. He does have himself armor and an AK, so the one versus three is a plausible situation that... Uh, I don't know. Not, not with yeah. Quantum and his op up. Quantum's been pretty terrifying. Yeah, well, that is true. Do anything this round, but I mean, let's be. Oh god, let's be real. Hey, you're not gonna. And that's the thing, right? I always, it's always really tempting when you've got an AK because you're just like, I just got to headshot them. It's fine. I can clutch this. Yeah, I mean, if you're in a pug, who cares? Just go for it. Not um, really the right decision. It's just it's just the decision you want to make. I mean, it isn't a pug because you're playing for individual stats. You don't really care. Like, yeah, some garbage kills. Well, like my stats are better than yours. You're bad. Like that's how pugs work. But here, when you're playing for money, you're gonna want to do what's best for the team. And you know, your money is the team's money. Your equipment is the team's equipment. So trying to save for instead of going for a very low percentage one v three is is definitely the right call. Uh, Snappy will take Martin out early in this round. Just about 20 seconds off the clock, and no problem find themselves in a 5-on-4 in a position they can win from, and at this point, you kind of need to win from. They've already lost the half, as Aftermatch have eight rounds. No. Lomex. Maybe the man of the hour. This is going to get a duel just against the Ooh, Very, very close, but 
On either side actually going down there. Nice flash to set up potentially for the kill is not really going to achieve too much. But in the end, they back away. Contain the uh, terrorists a little bit and retain their numbers advantage. But it looks like it's going to be the B play coming in now. This could have a plan. Ooh. Molotov off at the worst moment for him. It doesn't look like Aftermatch have given up on this B play. They want to make this happen. And with a flashbang, no, it may actually go terribly, terribly wrong. Oh, he's there. Does only manage to get himself the one kill, but he did a lot of damage. Sets up the kill for Glass. Now the rest of the Aftermatch have to make their play, but they're rapidly getting encircled. They are rapidly getting crossfired down, and that will be a round for no problem. All right, so Holtz has these, uh, I'm going to pop flash monster. He's got that down <laughs> when it comes to killing the blind people. Uh, struggled a little bit on the pistol round, which I think that one is okay because it was like 1v4. You're like, oh shit, four people. That usually happen to me, man. Uh, but that one, he should have had both those kills. It didn't really matter. Like the Molotov, as you pointed out, landing at a very inopportune time for aftermatch, slowing down their take as they were already disadvantaged one man. Uh, then that pop flash coming in, it was enough confusion and the time was running low. There's almost no way, no problem to win that. But would have liked those things like this and Snappy with an op shot, but cannot escape. So he's brought down. Martin will fall to low max here in the short bat. And Quantum pushes into final, so three on three. Yeah, a little bit dicey, but at the moment, looking like the A play would be where you'd expect. You'd expect the rotate, perhaps. Is what aftermatch are actually after here. I'll try to avoid overusing the word after. Are they after, after the match? After the match, after match, we're checking after the uh, information about the next match. this this round that came after. Yes, something like that. I don't know. Right, it did didn't pat out. Here's these Molotovs again. This time coming out at 50 seconds. Maybe a sign that no problem. We're a little nervous. I mean, Molotovs only last for what, like seven seconds. I don't see that much time off. Here's the smokes coming in, and actually Barry just was that from Bank. Yeah, it was. Barry from Bank. He's going to find the kill. Now it's going to be up to Disco. He'll fall to Glaze. Barry from Bank. And there it is. The cone of death as those two line up and uh, shoot down all the terrorists getting into that A site. Barry from Bank sounds like. Sounds like, a, yeah. Your local manager. Come see you, Barry. <laughs> Hello, this the is Barry from loans. Bank. Uh, have you heard about our low finance mortgages? <laughs> our low interest mortgages? <laughs> low, yeah, low finance mortgage. Uh, I don't know, poor? dude. I just, I just put some banking terms in a sentence. I don't actually have any money, so I don't know how banks work. Oh, that's a, that's a common uh, problem. For... I chose a career in esports, so. Damn. See, I have a real job. I mean, uh, I, I have. I mean, a... wait, no, you work actually, in no, banks. I, I have a real job. Banking actually. terms. Nah, see, no, I, I work in IT. Yeah, at a bank. He's planning a hashtag inside job, whatever bank Spuddington works at. Just let you know. Yeah, just be be careful. Actually, no, it's kind of laughable because they. Uh, I've been working there for about a month and a half at this point, right? They might have announced they're closing the entire branch where I live. Pretty, uh, pretty <laughs> soon. Oh, it... so that's interesting. Oh, I can think you're casting at Sivo now. Keep him. Yeah. Uh, the, the sick esports, the dirty esports dollars will keep me going. However. What will keep Aftermatch going? Well, the fact they've got more players for one thing. However, they do not have the sight, and no problem can take advantage of that. Unfortunately, they're not having much luck with it, because this is... They're getting pushed and pulled from both sides, and Barry appears to have decided to exit stage left. He's somewhat outwitted them. Come on, knife kill, knife kill. Economy man. <laughs> okay, that works too! Maybe get it. Oh, actually, no, nah, that didn't work that well. Oh, this is Barry from Window. Yeah, I know. Almost, Barry from the Window. Al almost team. had to. So how's that looking now for Aftermatch? Aftermatch winning the pistol. And, you know, they actually did lose the last two rounds of the first half, so striking back here in the second. And they had forfeited the pistol to no problem in the first half, so that's a pretty good way to start. Even though they came in with a one round lead off of the T side. Uh, it's hard to tell exactly without having seen no problem play lad how their T-side and overpass is going to be. Sometimes we will just see teams with stronger T-sides. And uh, Tech 9 armor with Mokes push. It seems to signify that they want to just get into B and get that bomb down. Uh, yeah, that's a very, very likely thing for us to see shortly. And there's not a lot of grenades actually on the side of Aftermatch to sort of zone control and stop them. He's... Oh, bloat. 
I thought he was going to be seen at any second, but no, nope, it was not to be. And this is going to be the push here. Unfortunately, they have not got the initial frag they need. No problem. They're starting to get picked apart. They managed to get two kills. They're really quick off the bat there. And, uh, Lomex is now the only left man. Left man, left standing. Been a long day. He's going to be uh, actually hopping, hopping his way out. Just wait around to see if he can get another kill, but the fat-ass duel will go in the favor of Quantum. As indeed most of his duels have, it seems, so far this game. Yeah, that round, um, I, I guess they were a little slow to move in after they threw the smokes, and of course when you throw the smokes, you're just saying to the other team, Hey! We're taking this bomb site, or we're trying to take this bomb site. Which, of course, once that's successful, later on you can use the mind games, you can throw those smokes fake to the other site. It's a little harder on overpass, I guess, but... Um, yeah, just kind of announced the presence. After they started moving in, there were already four counter terrorists there that had a weapon advantage. There was almost no hope. Like you also said, they didn't hit the, the opening shots, and they don't hit them in here either. As they go through with the Glock, Tech 9, P250 train, whatever they might have had, it wasn't very much. And after match kills them in about two seconds flat. That would be an elaborate bluff, though, on overpass. If you throw your smokes. Well, there there are, so the best way to do it, actually, is if you kind of wait under the, the train tracks, like outside of B, by that coil, whatever you want to call it, in construction, you can throw, actually, all the set smokes from there to the A site. Like, if you, if you feign middle control with, like, one player, so it seems plausible that you could have actually thrown A smokes, you can throw all the smokes from B, get those rotates, and hit B instantly. And I'm really surprised we don't see more teams use those smokes, because... Can you not I, tell from the angle of the smoke? Yeah, you <laughs> could tell from the angle of the smoke, of course, but... I mean, that's maybe not something you're paying the most attention to if you haven't... It's definitely a way to get around it, too. Hmm, that does sound interesting. I guess, I guess, at the same time, though... If it's, if it's something that people can learn to defend against relatively easily by, by seeing those angles... Then, then it's like it's a trick that gets you one or two rounds, but, but requires every single player to learn a new smoke. Yeah. It does sound like a sort of inordinate amount of And effort. those smokes were, I figured out a couple of them. They were not super simple, but there's this thing called the internet, Google, and Reddit, and I'm pretty sure someone's already figured them all out, so, you know, hone I mean, your uh, search right engine now skills. That has learned no smokes at all in any maps. And you just really don't want me to ever play Counter-Strike with you. Yeah. The things that you tell me. Yeah, see, I, I mean, I have hateful experiences in Counter Strike. I love the game, really. I just, we have a, we have a, we have a complicated relationship. Anyway, it's going to be, uh, well, okay. Good luck, Holst. I believe in you, man. Yeah, it was, pretty, it was pretty dire already in 2 versus 4, but his friend going down, Holst is going to try, but it was awesome. He walked through the fire for that, man. And just shut him down. Harsh. Life is very harsh. Especially for holes. He can left with some uh, not so good situations. I think he also had a 1v1 when he was on 1 HP earlier on. I mean, to be fair, he was on 20 HP and then he took a grenade and then he was on 1 HP. Oh, wait, am I thinking of a different one? There's been multiple people on 1 health, I think. Yeah, there's been a few. Martin was on 2 HP for a round in the first half, got a couple kills. Oh, Freddy B finds the first, and wow, this aftermatch defense is... It's been pretty strong. I mean, yes, it's only really got to contend with one rifle round so far. Now that the losing bonus is going to start piling up, uh, I think no problem can, can keep throwing those punches, and maybe they'll hurt a little bit, but, I mean, they got to be killing blows, right? Like, you throw a punch and it just stings aftermatch. They're not really going to care. Martin's got, you know, 10k. He can afford the doctor visits. If we're keeping, up, so if we're keeping up with the punch with the intention to kill. Yeah, exactly. Is wise words. Must strike with. What was the line from Darkest uh, Dungeon? I, I, to be honest, I have absolutely no Crazy idea because I've never words, watched like that. Indefatigable aggression or something like uh, that. In <laughs> See, I can't remember how you say that. Oh, right. line up. I, I don't know how you say that line. Indefatigable. Indef I don't even know what the word... I know what the word means, but I don't know how to say it. Is that... Do I even know the word? Can I truly be said to know a word I don't know how to say? <laughs> I don't think so. That's pretty deep. That's that's like 3 deep 5 me right there. I don't yeah. I think I can handle it. Have you ever heard of... Uh... Oh god, I can't remember the name of that now. I'm just not even going to say it. Screw it. I'm done. This anecdote is done. 
All right, well, we can get back to round 21 then. There is a bit of a chance here for no problem. They've got Molotovs, they've got smokes, and they've got a decent amount of time. The only problem is there are three people here in the A site to greet the, well, the three remaining players of no problem. So it's a pretty stacked up bomb site if you think about it that way. And Quantum is good with that off. He will miss the shot, but he has spotted bomb. They know it's not a fake. Misses another shot. This is maybe becoming a problem. Martin from Optimus hits a shot on the low max. Quantum just keeps on whiffing. Glace is brought down after he killed Quantum and is now oh. snappy in. A one versus three. And, well, let's not forget it. It was a 3v3 for the time being on the site, but there was a fourth man rotating up from the B site for aftermatch. Yeah, honestly, that's kind of a bad sign, though, for no problem, right? If if Quantum is just, I don't know what came over him, the, the, the spirit of Silver's past or something, but, like, he just couldn't land a shot there at all, and they get the push onto the site, and yet they just can't somehow secure the site entire. So, yeah, Aftermatch just seems to be able to repel almost anything that no problem try, and that's going to be getting pretty desperate for them right now. All right, so Snappy has no time for funny games on the swings. His teammates are being murdered. He wants to try to find some revenge. Oh my gosh, Quantum actually getting out of that with the kill. Turns to find Barry. Holt brings down Quantum. Three on two, though, still, as Freddy B will bring down Glace. Hmm. Looks like no problem wants to make some kind of move here. And actually, if they didn't hesitate, they might be able to just go straight forward. There we go. The bomb plant coming in. Molotov. Deflected or removed at least from the game by the magic of smoke. Instant defusal. Uh, okay, well, Holst he is now the only man left standing once again in a bit of a dicey scenario and is not going to be able to save the day. Which unfortunately, has been a friend for Holst in his admittedly terrible situation. But, um, hasn't actually been able to clutch any of them yet. Yeah, he's never really had too good of an opportunity. He's also 10 for 19. Yeah, that's rough. I mean, how is anyone on that? Oh my gosh. I mean, Lomax. Better than Lomax. He's sitting at 4 and 21 right now. Oh god. That yes, is that's... not where you want to be. That is Spuddington territory, probably. Wow. <laughs> I've Got actually fired. seen a game once of, a, of a, someone roughly my level. Actually, slightly below my level. Playing against Globals. Oh, fun! Oh. Ter terrifying global. I mean, even, yeah, but it, it like, ugh, man. Plot twist, don't most globals are actually terrible. Are you see them play basketball, basically. Oh, here's Barry trying to give them some hope. Holt's getting a frag as well. Goblin trying to ruin their day with the backstab with the op. It's not working out. I think he, I don't know if Barry already took damage or maybe took damage through the concrete floor right there. Uh, but no problem. Have a five versus three post plant after match. I mean, I'd say to save. I would also say to save, but I think, you know, there's, they got there's such a significant lead, the money is still okay, like, maybe they're gonna go for it, but if this was if this was a major, uh, there is one happening right now. Although, I'm not sure that Overpass would have been played, because apparently Cobble is the only map that exists. Uh, you, you probably would have seen those guys just saving from the, uh... I like Cobble. What's wrong with Cobble? I, I did, I don't like it anymore. Ah, I, I, see, I like the really big, wide open map. It's more the fact that it's it's been played eight times in a row today at the major. Kill me now. You're, mi you're missing out on the meme right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I I. You may be able did, to tell from my apathy. Did you watch any of it today? Things. Or did you have? I watched uh, some of it. I called work. I didn't really watch enough to put two and two together and realize that cobblestone was now the map. Yeah, there were only two maps that weren't cobble that were played. I think it was like. Inferno in cash? Light Maybe against two? I don't know. There was a lot of cobble. That's just like Minecraft. Anyway, right now, it's gonna be no problem making their way onto the site, trying to keep this in play. And keep their team in this map. And well done, Snappy. Doing pretty well with it. That was, yeah, that was an exercise in trust. Site was like still not clear. Starts playing the bomb. And just completely relying on Snappy to be uh, covering that uh, uh, or the water there. And Snappy was in the canal, of course. So, ooh, nice spot. That's yeah, cool. I did not is... even know about this. No, nor did I. That man, that place is a death trap, though. Think of all the angles you can. Yeah, is it going to Yeah, work? think of yeah. the one Snappy's not going to check. He could have gone for the knife. It's man. where Disco is. Yeah. 
push it. I, 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 what I hoped for in chat was for him to say like, where were you? Because then I would feel like I was on the same level. Not a you, feeling I get off. You weren't on the same level. The one man was on top of a shelf and the other guy was below the shelf well, no, and then yeah, down they weren't some on stairs. The same level, obviously. Well, I mean, obviously one of them killed the other one, so they weren't not get on his level, frankly. Uh, let's see, after match, they buy some deagles, which are a bit expensive. They do have the money for it, though. Uh, the bonus is going to, what, get them to 29, no, 2400 coming in after this round. So everyone will be able to buy as they sit on 2K to 3Ks. After match is in a pretty good position, and even still can definitely cause some damage. Although... I don't know, the damage doesn't matter too much, because Aftermatch really just need to win one more round. So, like, the lasting effects of messing with the team's economy won't really matter here. It's but high it, risk, high reward, right? You yeah, just if, win if, the it round. Limits their, if it limits no problem weaponry in round 26, then it's still worth it. Much harder to do that against T-side, but... Yo. I did like the part where Quantum, this round, was having trouble getting into the party. He's not invited. Also slightly too tall for him. Freddy B! For the shots, not gonna find it. He is gonna look away, actually, feeling like he might get flanked at any second. And Lomax is gonna be actually getting a nice pop flash there as he makes his move onto the, onto the site. No, onto the water. They're making the move onto the site now! Biscotto Pan is waiting around the corner, ready to get some kills. First one falls. He's just going to chill for the time being. Oh, Bloat is going to be able to sneak around and get himself one. Looks for the next, but not to be. However, as you say, it's all about limiting the economy. However, looking at no problem, yeah, they're pretty flush. Yeah, I didn't do too much. I mean, two people live there, and they got the bomb down for the extra 800 bucks. Plus, they won the round, so it's pretty solid. Uh, although, they do have a lot of rounds to, to make up, but then again, it doesn't matter, right? If you lose one and your economy's mm -hmm. worse, it doesn't matter because you've lost, because Aftermatch has 16. And Aftermatch, having bought those deagles to the mid-2Ks, mid-3Ks, uh, are able to sustain a pretty decent round. They've got the op up on Freddy B, even he has a smoke and everyone else with more or less full utility and kits. So, the round's looking pretty good for Aftermatch. In theory. Ooh, until... Yeah, in theory, right? On paper, at the start, it looked decent, but Glace with the first kill on Freddy B there at B, and Glace is just the, the lurker watching for pushes. I mean, that's the thing, right? You can manage your economy with perfect accounting precision, and then just lose the round because the enemy actually knows how to aim properly. Or gets the positioning, you know. It, it's it, Like, the economy... I feel like... I don't know. I don't want to say it's overvalued. Some people make too big of a deal out of mistakes on Anyway, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I like. I, I guess the thing about the economy is that it's free, right? It's like a free advantage that people give away sometimes. Well, also, I mean, it's harder to get a, a perfect read on exactly how it's panning out when you're the in enemy. the game because you're denied the information as a as an observer. It's pretty easy to be like, oh, yeah, that was obviously a mistake. Look at the money. Look at the buys in the next round. It was worse. But when you're playing, like, you don't really have access to that. Good way of feeling superior, though, to be like, yeah, yeah. I, can, I did the mental maths better than you. Which is What's why, that? when you're casting, you can still kind of freely criticize players that are very much obviously better than the people you're commentating, right? It's just because we have the power of information over the players in most aspects. Yeah, that's true. Pretty, yeah, I can't think of a single aspect where we don't have an information advantage with X-Ray. I guess in the old days, back back in the old days, you probably didn't yeah. have that, but uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe they should have just installed a wall hack on the half-caster computer. I think uh, some people did. I mean, I know people did to make videos, uh, to do some of the cooler things in videos. Yeah, make videos. Yeah. That was I, the only I thing know. they did. To, to do some cooler things on the production side. But here we go, Freddy B. And it would be... Uh, Heartbreaking for no problem to, to lose just on a pistol shotgun by from Aftermath. Freddy B was in a good position, tries to retreat into the smoke, but is shot down, and his buddies see it happen. They're upset. The Molotov oh. and Martin gonna have to move, and it gets spammed down by Barry, so beautifully done, just taking out all these players here on Catwalk. They're like, alright, you know, we're ready for another. Who else wants to, to walk over to the sandbags? This code out plan was heard. They know he's here. And Lomex 
is creeping around. It's like a horror film. Oh. Why are you looking at the wall? Except the victim won. No. Yeah. Oh, oh who was... No, so you're saying the CTI next corner was the victim. Right? Okay, true. So he was... I can't remember who it was that was hiding behind the box. Did I say Lomax had been heard? I'm not going crazy. I hope I didn't. It's been a long day. Do you know you start repeating things more when you're tired? Think it's reasonable. I'm not gonna start doing the dad joke that's available there. Just say it again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Pretty good dad joke. Yeah, it's not bad. I'll be honest, if I'm ever a dad, I think I'd be pretty good at dad jokes. All I'm saying. I don't think I'd be a very good father. I think my child would probably grow up to be <laughs> frankly socially inept, but the, you know, he'd be a good, good dad jokes. joker as well. So. Oh, here's Disco playing a bit aggressive out to the short side of the bathrooms, not spotting anything. And really, after match hasn't been been putting too much of a presence on long. A lot of times you'll see it's, uh, two players slide up to the. Uh, I kind of want to say shimmy. Shimmy up to the rock and the tree. Um, Good work. Have that crossfire. It's pretty nice. And you put one on the short path, just two in B. It seems like they valued the B defense a little bit more after match, putting one in the window, two in B. And of course, that uh, Freddy B can be that quick rotator on the defense. And it seems like no problem. They didn't really see anything at A, but they have decided to just change their course dramatically. Everyone going through the connector and... Uh, who is that glaze holding out outside of monster where we've seen him on the start of most of the rounds Here come those smokes. Will they Say too much about this execute Martin with the pop flash doesn't work, but it doesn't matter hits the shot Glaze is certainly blind now Holt and Lomax however both get into entry Martin on the other side of the smoke takes one man out of the air And does dink that player snappy very low, but has an op so it may not matter Actually, it really doesn't matter because the two players if they even attempt to retake both have ops Disco here at the top of graffiti and where is Quantum? Quantum's up in the window still. They haven't found a kill, so at this point, I think they are gonna just back off and save. Yeah, look for the exit frags, and that's all you wrote, basically. Oh boy, Lomax. is gonna be running out, and we'll actually get legs there, so... He'll survive, and he knows it's not, so he may as well carry on challenging at that range, but... Still, Disco Dave Clan gets the better of him. That is gonna be now... The orbs will be saved for the next round, but this is starting to get honestly pretty dicey now. Six rounds in a row for no problem. They've built themselves up to a, a very reasonable scoreline, and obviously their economy is frankly irrelevant for the rest of the game at this point. Whereas after match, if they lose this one, I hesitate to say they wouldn't be able to buy anything. Yeah, it, probably, but it would probably go dicey. to you. Although it is a CT force mine overpass, they can be dangerous. They definitely could win off of that. And the way it usually goes in Sivo Main is one team gets a massive lead, the other team starts making a comeback. Could have been over like 16-5, and it ends up being like 16-14. Momentum. Yeah, and it, it ties into what Launder says a lot too. Like one team can start winning a, a ton and uh, like a ton of rounds and a half, but then it's the other team that, that has been losing that usually manages to squeak one out in the end just because of you know adjustments that have been made. The team that's winning is not really making adjustments. It's always the team that's losing, and at one point it's kind of bound to work out. So, Quantum still alive somehow. Oh, decides to unscope and dodge that flash. Barry peaks pretty quickly. And we'll take him down. But it's still four on three after match. With that man advantage here. Mm, may actually look to close out off of this round, as you said. All it takes is the one round Ooh, after Freddy all. Freddy B in an awkward spot as he now has missed those shots. Oh, low mix though. He knows he has the info and he gets the better of the duel a little bit. Nice seems to get by both of them there, unable to quickly close out the kill, however, this is gonna come down to the plant, presumably. I Go burning! Oh. Apparently not, though. We have not yet got the bomb plant. Barry has not done it, now he will. Two on two is in progress. Martin hanging around below, and Bloke gonna be the man to poke his head out first from bank, but that's actually an advantage here to the CTs. They've got two people put on the site, that being said. They're going to have to find the kills or get the cover down because it's going to be blown now. He's doing the work. He actually gets the first kill there. Pulse is out of the picture and they will finish off the second. So that they is going to be it. Yeah, so you get to that two versus two.
Uh, maybe you keep someone close to the stairs, kind of hiding behind those flowers, one in the bathroom, or just one on either side of the bathroom wall looking into the site. But one of those terrorist players, they split off long, and then they make that rotation all the way back down long through the bathrooms, coming back around, which left it in a kind of a two-on-one. Uh, one of the CTs taps the bomb. The other one finds that kill and then starts pushing forward because they haven't seen the other terrorist who's then running up. And, yeah, it was a bit awkward, I think, with the, the one player could have... I can't remember who it was on the terrorist side. Could have maybe stayed at long just to have another angle, but of course there's like no defense. There's literally zero cover at long. Mm. If anyone wide peeks you, I don't know. That was kind of... Probably better to tough. put both people going to yeah, the just toilets like and have like a crossfire. Or... At the bathrooms, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that has the, that's worked out in the end for Aftermatch there. As you said, though, it was kind of a bit of a turnaround, but... Uh... Are we, do we do breaks here on Sivo? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll go to a quick commercial break, guys. Uh -huh. we got Mirage coming up next uh, here in the Aftermatch No Problem game. Winner of this, by the way, will go on to face the winner of Torpedo versus Public Lair, which is, I think that's got to be the game everyone wants to see the most. It's the game I want to see the most here in Sivo, Maine, and in Europe. Torpedo Public Lair seems like it's going to be pretty good. Uh, and just to remind you of the maps, I know they've been coming up on screen throughout the first map, but Overpass was the first one picked by Aftermatch. No problem, picked Mirage, so we're moving on to their pick now, and Inferno uh, was decided between Cash and Cobble, so Cobble not winning the random selection. Thank God. And with that, commercial break, myself, Helium, and Spuddington will be back for Mirage Map 2.